I didn't know about comprehensive sexuality education. But after the training, uh, then I said, okay, this training is so good, let me go to the school and translate what I've got from the training into practice. And that is how I came with the program uh, within the School of Forming Comprehensive Sexuality Education uh, Club, where we always meet and we discuss issues affecting the youth. Uh, for example, issues dealing uh, with the relationship, how you manage relationship, and more issues focusing on uh, managing our bodies. Uh, comprehensive sexual education really helped us because it really helped me and also the students in the community a lot. The trainings are centered on sexuality and reproductive health, of which that package you can see is, is broad and at times are divided according to the different age groups. When it comes to the young people, we center a lot on comprehensive sexuality education, life skills and, and other information as well. It's more of an interaction on how they can play a key role in the in the lives of young people to change them, to, you know, to have a healthy life, to exercise right, you know, sexual behaviors and the rest. The CLC club has really helped me to acquire knowledge on how to abstain myself from being in bad peer groups and how I can really encourage my friends to tell them. My own life, since ever I never knew CSE, I never knew of course what it was. But then since I ever came to know it, I started changing my life, actually emotionally, uh, like how to control my sexual uh, sexuality emotions and how to interact with girls when they are with me or even others who are with me who are girls. Introducing CSC Club is really good and it really helps a lot. It helps some of our girls to know more about themselves and also to the community to know more about what's really happening. CSE has helped me really to try to talk to them about menstrual health management, how to manage their menstruation period, what are they to, supposed to use, like the drugs. It is not really advisable for a young girl to take drugs when she's, her, when she's on her messes because this one it affects with the body. Most of them are known to avoid or delay sexual activities, especially when they have become sexually active. It has also made me learn that really how to delay sex with opponent each other, how to abstain from it actually. Sex it is in the mind. Whenever we keep it, that's when the act will be done. But what I've picked from there that whenever that thinking comes, I will start engaging myself in some of the exercise and activities like jogging, yeah. Before our comprehensive sexuality education training, we had a lot of difficulties here. There was a lot of school dropout, uh, early pregnancy, teenage and uh, an internet pregnancy experience within the school, and also the alcohol and drug uh, uh, use, and also uh, issues concerning with gender-based violence were rampant here. I never knew that I would learn how to manage or how to count the menstruation, menstrual length. Then I learned from there how to manage the length period. In the kingdom of the blind, of course, the one-eyed person is the king. So with the one-eyed person, of course, he has a very great difference with the person who has no eyes. So as I am educated with the CSE knowledge, I have a great difference because the way I react to people with the knowledge that I've been given by the CSE, it is very different with the way the person who has not been enhanced with the knowledge. We are very different. The way we associate with girls, the way we talk to people, we are very different. I have more knowledge on how to express or to solve some problems out there in the area to their friends. Yeah, and after sharing with them, some were happy and they felt like really we should continue bringing them more information about CSE. We see that this is of pregnancy, reduce, reduce. When we form this uh, CSE club, things are now normalizing and they are now okay.